press this button and you can put your movie's name or your cast members and your studio name and your logo style and you can choose it. Change the text by just um, hitting the blue thing and um, hitting the, well, typing in whatever you want. Okay, so, and then you hit done. And then um, how you can, like, take the different pictures is, like, Okay, I already have one on here for it, but um, you could take um, the picture like this, and it would like show the book, and you can like record it, so it'll show like different parts of it. Then it just automatically goes there. And that's pretty much it. If you already put a photo in something, you can press um, which, which, where you would like it to go. And you have all these photos, you can choose which one, the perfect one to do it with. This is how you get it, pictures from the internet. You search by the bar up here. And when you've got it, you press search. And then you scroll down to find the, the pictures that you want. Whereas people that like animals, they may click on one like this. To save it, you must tap and hold, and then the save image. Alright? And then we do uh, to Hades layer. So I'm going to put like Hades and then two. We're acting out a scene from our <laughs> trailer. Did you do that? Make sure we put Percy in over here. Yeah. Plus two. How do I get it out? No, let's just do that. And then Percy. And then Percy. See, you can, when you see that buddy, you can press it, and I'll show you a big picture. This is how you share an iMovie with your teacher. First you go to the box with an arrow, and then you scroll, and you scroll into mail. Then you write the teacher's name. And then you send. Where are you going, I'm just sending to teacher.